Hey, I'm Courtney Waterman, your tutor. Lover of anime, manga, and math. And you just tuned into another session of Tutor Me Senpai. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're jumping into a fourth grade topic, naming your lines, line segments, and your rays. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'll be putting time codes in for this video in the description box below. So use that to skip ahead to whatever part of the video you think is most interesting. As always, if you have any questions about what we said today or even your own homework, you can always visit my Facebook page at Tutumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. This video is only going to have two parts, so leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and let's get started. Previously on this channel, I've given you a very quick explanation on the differences between your lines, your line segments, and your rays. Now, if you've seen that video, then you would know that they all start like this. They all start in a relatively similar way. The main difference is going to be the ends. We covered the fact that they all look very similar except for the ends. If you have a line, your ends are gonna look like this. You're gonna have arrows on the end. If you have a line segment, your ends are gonna look like this. You're gonna have points on your end. And if you have a ray, you're gonna have a combination of the two. You can either have a point arrow or an arrow point. You're going to have a combination of the previous two. So this was your line, this was your line segment, and this was your ray. However, we didn't cover how to name this. If you had these on some homework, how would you refer to them? Now we talked about how to name a point. If you had a singular point out there, we said that this would just be point A. You would know that by point A. And you can have points on all of this. You see, we even have two points for our line segment. But you can have two points, three points, four points on any of these. It doesn't really matter. So let's say we had A, B like this. How would we refer to this line with those two points? How would we name that? Well, all three of these actually are gonna be very similar again. But let's start with our line. We're going to take our two points, we're gonna keep them capital, so I have them capital for a reason, write them next to each other. Now, it doesn't matter for a line if it's A, B, or B, A. So, it doesn't matter what you have. For a line, make sure you remember that. It's for a line, it doesn't matter what order you're putting the letters in. These two points are on this line, and the line goes on and on forever. So it doesn't really matter what order they're in. But you take your two points, put them side by side, make them capital, and you're going to put a straight line over them. However, you're not going to stop there. The straight line has to look like this line. In fact, it needs to look exactly like that line. So make sure you have your arrows on the end. That lets us know that it's going to be a line that continues on forever and ever and ever in both directions, does not stop, and these are gonna be two points on that line. So once again, it doesn't matter what order you have, just make sure they're next to each other, they're capital, and what you're putting on top looks like the line itself. Now what happens if you have more than two points? Well, let's say you had a point C here. Well, this is still a valid name for this line. You're just saying it's a line that continues on forever and these are two points on it. So you can have AC as well, that's fine. You can have CA, you can have BC, you can have CB. Like As long as you're pointing out two points on this line and the top looks like this line, you're good to go as far as naming that line. And remember, order doesn't matter for a line, just make sure they're capital next to each other and you have the line on top that looks like that line. Now, this is what we're gonna keep for the line. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of it right here and move it up here. Let's say we have, let's just say AB again and BA again. 
This is what we keep for the line. Let's move on to our line segment now. How do we name our line segment? Well, if we're going to use what we just talked about for our line as an example, we're gonna have to name these points. So let's say this was D and E here. So we have D and E. We're gonna take our D and take our E, and this also doesn't matter as far as the order goes for your line segment. And we're also going to put a straight line over it. However, you don't have to put the points there. That's not necessary. We can actually just leave this because if you look at this straight line, if it doesn't have arrows, it means it's not continuing forever and ever and ever. Having just a straight line also looks like it's stopping, which that's what the points tell us. It's stopping. It doesn't go on forever. It's just a line segment, a piece of a line. So this tells us that this line segment starts at D and ends at E, or starts at E and ends at D. It doesn't really matter what the order is for this line segment, but that's the entire line segment. Now I say that because it's very important that you notice if you had another point here, let's say F, DF is not the same as DE. It doesn't talk about this entire line segment. DF only focuses on that part here. So unlike your line where you can take any of the three and it still talks about the entire line, that's not going to be the case for your line segment. Your line segment really just needs to focus on the end points. So if you're trying to talk about the entire line segment, you're going to need to look at these. If you're talking about this particular line segment, that can be within a bigger one. It doesn't matter about that. But if you're talking about this one, then you're going to need either DF or FD. If you're talking about this one, once again, this one is not the same as this one, and it's not the same as this one. This one is going to be either F, well, let's put some space here, F, E, or E, F. So these are all line segments, but they're not all the same line segment. So make sure that you realize there are some differences. Although they are fairly similar, there are some differences. You're gonna take two points, put them together, make them capital, draw your line. Don't draw the arrows this time, just keep it as a line. And you're going to have to make sure that the points that you chose, that's the line segment that you're focusing on. If you want a different one, you may have to choose different points, but order doesn't matter for it. That's how you're gonna name your line segments. Let's move on to naming our rays. Now, let's say we have G and H. How would you name this ray if you had to guess? Well, you may say that we have our G and we have our H and we have our H and our G. And you may even guess that you're gonna put some type of straight line here. And you may guess that it's going to have to have some type of arrow or something, right? Well, you would be 80% correct if you did that. However, what I want you to focus on is the fact that rays are very, very different in this regard. In this case, rays want to make sure that you're starting at the same point that your ray starts with. So instead of starting at H, which is inside your ray here, you see it keeps going on and on forever, we're starting at our starting point G. So instead of having both, Let's just put it in the middle to signify we're not going to have both. Instead of having both, you're going to only have G, H here. And you are going to have that ray on top. It still looks like this. However, you're not going to be able to reverse it and you're never going to write it with the ray going the opposite way. Your ray should always point to the right and you're always gonna start with your letter that starts your ray. Now what happens if you have more than three points? So let's say we have an I. Well, this is going to be pretty similar to your line. However, you're still gonna to have to start where? Wherever 
your ray begins. Now, if you're talking about the entire ray, now in this case, it's acting like your line segment, you have to make sure that you're focusing on the outside part that starts that ray. So let's say we're talking about this big ray here. You would still be able to do G, H, or G, I. It doesn't matter which one you do as long as you're starting with your G. Both of these would say the same ray. It's gonna be starting at G and another point on your ray is either I or an H. However, you may notice that we have another ray here. We have the ray starting at I. So you can also have ray I H. This is a different ray. This is not the same, not the same as ray G H. They are different rays. They're not the same. This is starting at point I, and this one starts at point G. So you can have rays within your rays, just like you can have line segments within your line segments. But just make sure that the one that you're talking about, you're starting at that starting point. So if it's the big ray, use the one that starts the entire thing. If it's a smaller ray, use the one that's inside. So for this case, we're gonna look at the entire ray. So we're gonna have your G, and I'm gonna go back to the GH, and make sure you have your ray on top of it. So this is how you're gonna name your lines, your line segments, and your rays. Let's move on to our next section, which will cover a few examples to give you a little bit more practice. For these examples, I want us to name all the lines, line segments, and rays that we see. Try to find all the names that you can possibly think of that would cover what we have here. So we're gonna start with number one. What do we have for number one? How do we name this? Well, notice we have a ray here, right? So we have a ray and we have two points. What do we gotta do to start our name for this ray? We have to first identify how we start the ray. We have an A and a B, but which one's our starting point? Our B is a starting point. Don't get confused and try to do a B. That's not right. We wanna start with our starting point B. So it's gonna be B, A, and we're going to draw our arrow in this way. This is our ray B, A. And we can't swap that, and there are no more points, so this is the only way we can write that. How about number two? Here we have a line segment with three points. So we can do what? We wanna write all the line segments that we see here. We can have line segment A, B, right? And we need a straight line on top of it, no arrows, no arrows. We can have line segment B, A because order doesn't matter, right? So that would cover this line segment here. Now we can have line segment AC, that's the big line segment, and CA. Once again, put your straight lines. It's not going to continue, so don't put your arrows. So this takes care of the big line. Now we can have BC and CB. And that takes care of this line segment. And that's gonna be all the line segments in this line segment. Let's move on to number three. What do we have here? Well, this is going to be a line and we have A and B on this line. So how we name this line? Well, we're gonna have our A and we're gonna have our B and we're gonna have that straight line, but because it's a line, we put our arrows there. And we can also do B, A because Order doesn't matter. As long as it's a line going on forever and ever and ever in both sides, we can say AB or BA because there are two points on that infinite line. So I hope you were able to follow along with today's video and I hope you now understand how you can name your lines, line segments, and your rays. However, if you have any questions about what you saw today or even your own homework, remember, you can always visit me on my Facebook page at Timmy Senpai and tell me all about it there. If you hadn't done so already, remember to leave that like. It surely helps the channel. 
by letting YouTube know that you find a video helpful. And if you find a video helpful, so can someone else. So leave a like, hit the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, and share the video with a friend. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I'm really hoping this helped with your homework. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Courtney, and this has been another session of Tutor Me Senpai.